It's very simple to get up and going in 30 seconds or less with the Intelligent for SharePoint 2013, online or in-house. Here we have a basic task list that maybe we want to see in a rich can chart. Over in Intelligent, you can go to the help page. We'll choose the minimum installation. There's a handy guide to help you get started, what to download. But since we know what we're doing, we're going to get that minuscule Intelligent uh, online.zip file and look at its elements. Basically, these two ASPX pages. This one we'll have as a demo a little bit later. But it's as simple as drag and drop to install. We'll go to our site contents. And I like to put it into site assets just, just because I think it's an asset. We'll create a new folder called Intelligent to place this within. And it, it is important to put it within a folder. We do expect it to be in its own folder. And basically, just uh, grab these two files then and drag and drop. These ASPX files are, are on your SharePoint server now, but you can click on it, Intelligent Online, and it'll automatically check out the site, see what you have, let you know when, <laughs> when it'll expire, and pull in the task to get your nice rich scan chart. Now, I actually did uh, make it so that we could see our uh, subsites as well. We had a subsite called Music that wasn't apparent in the, uh, uh, the, the site we had originally looked at, but Intelligent makes it very easy to, to select and discover new sites to show. Also, we can hook in with discussions and documents. So we see uh, Choose Menus. Uh, if we select it, this should be discussed. All right, let's discuss it. We'll take you right to the discussion. Fine, let's talk about it. Conversely, we can also add a document to it. Um, in fact, I got my sample document here. Let's just add that. As soon as that highlights, that means it is addable. And now we've got our sample document. We've got the ability to uh, either look at the information of the document, edit the document properties, or uh, open it with Native Editor. And um, let's look at the sample properties, see what they look like. Here's our sample document. Or Let's edit it. Open with Word. And there you go. In addition, uh, you can of course do uh, scheduling. As you see, there's dependencies here. When we move things to the schedule, it does pay attention to those dependencies and update for you. Uh, you've got rich editing within every cell. We've got a quick uh, update, so you can always see what the start and finish dates are for all the selected tasks. Uh, you can even update from here if you want to. And better yet, you can undo your mistakes and go back to the way things were. So this is just, a, a, again, a, a quick intro. Uh, visit our site or install it today and uh, check it out.